activate Fluffy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Fluffy Wonders. You look like a fireman. Now you look like a construction worker. <laughs> You're a natural cowboy, Debo. <laughs> hmm, I wonder, what is it like to be a cowboy? Let's find out. I'm gonna need a grabber arm. Grabber arm confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Uh, uh, hey! Do you know any cowboys? Whoa! Whoa there! <laughs> Howdy, I'm Hampton the Horse. What brings you two down to the for? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn what it's like to be a cowboy. Well, you certainly rode into the right ranch. Giddy up! But first, we've got to get you looking the part. All right! I see you got your hat on, partner. Looking good. <laughs> <laughs> Here, Blippi, grab yourself a hat and a bandana. See, cowboys wear these wide brim hats to protect themselves from the sun and the rain. Ah, much better. Now you looking good. Yeah, cowboy! But they're also useful for gathering water when you need a drink. Cool! Woo! Whoa! <laughs> cowboy hats are also good for moving a cow in the right direction. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> hey! No worries there, Blippi. Being a cowboy is so much more than just having the right clothes. Like what? Riding horses is a big part of the job. It's how cowboys got around before corn, and it allows us to herd cattle without scaring. Hop on. Let's ride. Maybe we should slow down. Oh, I think I'll stick to the Blippi Mobile. <laughs> That's actually perfect, since we have loose cattle to rank. We gotta spread out and move in the direction we want the cows to go. Toward the pen. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, this way. Let's get a wiggle on. That means let's go. Yeah. Yippee! <laughs> Well done, Blippi. You wrangled those cows like a real cowboy. Being a cowboy is hard work. Sure is. But it makes the day worthwhile. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for helping me find the answer to my question. <laughs> Cowboys wear big hats, ride horses, and wrangle cattle. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for making us feel at home on the range. Anytime, City Slicker. <laughs> Race you to the ball pit. Okay, Blippi, huddle ball activate. <laughs> Whoa, silly somersaults. Totally awesome, Debo. Huh? <gasps> Is that a puppy? I love puppies! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo and Blue. What's your name? Lily! What a cute name! Great idea, Lily! <laughs> Blippi, Lily wants you to throw the ball for us. Okay, Lily and Blue, are you ready? Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Go fetch! <laughs> Look at how fast Lily's tail is wagging. Hmm, 
I wonder, why do dogs wag their tails? <laughs> Uh-oh, I think Debo's broken. Oh, no! Lily's probably scared. Debo, try giving her a treat. Now, hold out your paw so she can sniff you and know you're a friend. Yeah, Lily! All better. Do you want me to throw the ball again? She's so excited! Ready? Go! Fetch! Oh, she's so happy! Too hard, Blue! Oh no! Is Debo okay? <laughs> Debo, you're all better! <laughs> Hugs? <laughs> Not so hard, Blue! Good girl, Lily. <laughs> Good girl. She's so cute. Hugs? Be gentle, Blue. Oh, yes, right. <laughs> hey, look at how fast her tail is wagging. Yeah. Dogs wag their tails as a way of showing emotion, like fear or, or excitement. <laughs> Just like my antennas glow different colors for all my different feelings. I got the answer to my question. Why do dogs wag their tails? Dogs wag their tails to show emotions like fear or excitement. Upload answer, Devo. <laughs> Good girl, Lily. Good girl. <laughs> Gigantic truck! You're right, Debo. I think that was a monster truck. Hmm, I wonder what makes a monster truck special? Good idea! We can catch up with that monster truck and find out. I'm gonna need monster truck wheels. Monster truck wheels confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Debo? Whoa, Debo! You have the monster truck wheels attachment? <laughs> You're like a monster truck! All right, let's ride! Debo the monster truck is ready for adventure! Crash! Crash! <laughs> It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. You really crushed that car. Hi, Blippi. I'm Megan. So, Megan, we're here to find out what makes a monster truck special. Cool. Well, I think the best way to answer your question is to show you what I do. Great. You see, I'm a monster truck with big, tall monster tires. I'm 13 feet tall. Wow. Let's go. Do this! All right! <laughs> huh? Huh? Crash! Whoa. Ah. Whoa. We can't bounce as high as you, Megan! And oh boy, we're almost tipping over! Well, I have heavy duty suspension with your special springs so I can bounce way up and down and not tumble over. <laughs> I use them when I race Whoa. and have competitions. Cool! Whoa. Whoa. Yeah! Welcome aboard, Blippi! Buckle up! It's time to dominate the obstacle course! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! This is awesome! Whoa. How can you turn and zigzag so fast? I have something called four-wheel steering. So I can turn all four wheels at once. 
instead of just two wheels like a lot of regular trucks. Us monster trucks are built for short, high-powered bursts of speed! I nailed that! Megan, that was amazing! And I have the answer to my question. What makes a monster truck special? Monster trucks are a special kind of truck with big tires, heavy duty suspension, and four wheel steering. Upload answer, Devo. Bye, Megan. It was so cool to ride with you. Bye, Blippi. Keep on crushing. <laughs> Yeah! Now all that's left to do is make the horn sound like a bruntusus. Bruntusus? Brown. Let's sound it out. Bron to sor us. Brontosaurus. Awesome! Stupendous! Perfection! Oh, wait. I don't think this book has a section on dinosaur sounds. Hmm, I wonder. Where can we find more books about dinosaurs? Oh, I know. Let's try the library. Great idea, Babble. What? The Brontomobile <laughs> is ready for adventure. All right. Yeah, books. <laughs> Sorry. Whoa. Oh. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Tabs. Hi, I'm Katie the Caterpillar, here for any of your library needs. And I'm Babble. Oh my, oh my. A whole section of balloon animals? I love books so much. Hey, Katie, can you help us find the dinosaur books? Of course I can help. Wait for me. I want to come too. Ah! Whoa! Can you help me carry these, please? Dinosaurs from A to Z. The biggest roar and more. My friend, the Triceratops. Hey, Babel, do you think I have too many books about dinosaurs? You could never have too many books. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent choices. Thanks for your help, Katie. And I got the answer to my question. Where can I find more books about dinosaurs? At the library. <laughs> yeah. Upload answer tabs. <laughs> Bye. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. That one's blue. That one is red, Tabs. Oh, and that one is green. Hmm, I wonder, why are fireworks different colors? Great idea, Tabs. Let's go investigate. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and a grabber arm. Helicopter blades, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Ready for it, 
adventure! Get too close to fireworks. Be safe. Give them some space. Okay. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tax. We were just wondering how fireworks get their colors. Hi, I'm Penny. I'll spin you a tale all about it. Whee! First, you have to know that fireworks are little rockets filled with black powder, which burns fast and sends the fireworks as high as the air. Whoa! That's pretty high. Good idea, Tabs. Let's get a better look at the fireworks in the sky. Will you join me in the Blippi Mobile, Penny? Sure! Whoa! Great! Even in the air. Remember to stay safe and give them space. So colorful. Packed into the top of the firework are metal salts called stars. Just like different foods have different flavors when you eat them, different metal salts burn different colors when you ignite them. Watch out! Here comes another one, Tabs! Are you okay? I told you, stay safe and give them space. We should get down to the ground or we'll all miss the big ending. You're right. Let's go. <gasps> Here it comes. The grand finale. Whoa. Whoa, look at that. What an amazing. Show! And now I have the answer to my question. Why are fireworks different colors? Fireworks are different colors because of the different metal salts they burn. Upload answer tabs. Bye, Penny! Bye, Flippy! Always stay colorful! Rawr! Rawr! <laughs> You're right, Debo. It would be fun to have a dinosaur as a pet. Hmm, I wonder, would a dinosaur make a good pet? Good thinking. We'll go back in time to find out. I'm gonna need the grabber arm and monster truck wheels. Grabber arm, monster truck wheels, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Mobile is ready for adventure. That's right, we're in the Cretaceous period, millions of years ago when the Earth was filled with dinosaurs! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Hi there, Blippi! I'm Tina, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Hi, Tina. We were wondering, would a dinosaur make a good pet? An animal that you love and care for. Wow, being a pet sounds amazing. Maybe I could be your pet for the day. Can you drop Debo, please? Debo's made of metal, and we don't want you to break a tooth. Good, Dino. We sure do have sharp teeth. I use mine to eat. Whoa, do you eat a lot? Feeding is an important part of having a pet. I can bite off 500 pounds of food in one jump. That's a lot more than I have here. Hmm, let's try a trick. Great idea, Debo. Go fetch, Tina. Sometimes I forget my size. Us T-Rexes can be as tall as 12 feet high and up to 40 feet long. Wow, that's so big. 
Hey, let's go for a walk, Tina. Whoa! Look at all of those teeth! Something tells me that's not how a walk is supposed to go. We gave it a try, but I'm not sure if dinosaurs are meant to be pets. I think you're right. We're meant to rule the jungle. Yep, and you helped find the answer to my question. Would a dinosaur make a good pet? Dinosaurs are big, have lots of teeth, need room to roam, and eat a lot. So they might not be good pets, but it's still fun to imagine. Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, Tina. Bye. Come back in time. Eddie's time. <laughs> What's making that sound? Oh, it's a race car. It's going so fast. You're right. The Blippi Mobile could never go that fast. Hmm, I wonder, why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? Good idea, Debo. We can go to the racetrack and find out. I'm gonna need race car tires. Race car tires confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> the Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Hi! Are you here to try out the race track? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're actually here to find out why race cars are so much faster than regular cars. Hi, I'm Ricardo. Let me show you on the track. Let's race. All right. Before we race, I have a really important job for you, Debo. I need you to be the captain of the pit stop. During the race, I'll pull in here so you can keep me in tip-top shape. Can you help out and do that job? <laughs> oh, nice try, Debo. But what you'll be doing is gassing up my tank and swapping out my tires. Okay, race time! Helmets on and buckle up! I'm going really fast. Whoa! I'm not even going as fast as I can. Only 180 miles per hour now. Race cars are made out of a lighter material than regular cars. Plus, my shape helps me race easier into the wind. It's called aerodynamics. You and my Blippi Mobile are definitely different shapes. Pit stop, Captain. Do your thing. You can do it, Debo. Ricardo, do you have special tires? I do. My tires are wider and softer than regular car tires, so I can go even faster on this super hot track. Thanks, Debo. Now you're even faster. My powerful engine is five times stronger than a regular car's. I can reach my top speed of 220 miles per hour. See you at the finish line, Blippi. Whoa, I'm blown away. But now I have the answer to my question. Why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? It's because race cars are aerodynamic and made out of a lighter material, have special tires to race on the hot track, and a super powerful race car engine! Huh? Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, <laughs> Ricardo! Bye, Blippi! Bye, Debo! Ciao! What a nice day for a quiet drive. Whoa! Attack of the bubbles! <laughs> That's right, D. 
Debo, bubbles pop when you touch them. Hmm, I wonder, how do you make bubbles? <laughs> Great idea! We'll follow the bubbles to find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Mobile is ready for adventure. The bubbles are from the car wash. Let's give it a wash. Hi. Oh, good boy. I'm Marvin. Marvin Bubbly. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn how to... W wait a second, are you a pop star? Oh, <laughs> sure am. My mom loves you. Thank you, thank you very much. You're far too kind. So, what are you here to learn? Debo and I are here to learn how bubbles are made. So glad you asked. The surfaces of bubbles are soft. <laughs> Ooh, which makes them pop easily. That reminds me, we need more bubbles. And I know just the fella to show you how. Hmm, can you guess? It's me, Marvin Bubbly. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Whoopsies. The first step is to get water. Then we need some soap to mix with it. And shoo ba doo poop Voila! You make bubbles! And look how they float! Us bubbles can float like that because we're just air that's trapped inside a thin layer of soapy water! Whoa! So bubbles are made by blowing air into soap! That's right! Which reminds me... Let's make some more bubbles! And I know just the fella to show you how! It's you! It is me! Just dip your hands in the water Get them sized up on the soap Make a circle with your hands and blow! Whoa! It's bigger than you! Check this out! Catch me if you can! I've got new heights to reach! Keep flying high, Marvin! And thanks for helping me get the answer to my question. How are bubbles made? They're made when air gets trapped inside a thin layer of soapy water! Upload answer, Devo! <laughs> Bye-bye, Marvin. Bye-bye, Blippi. Bye-bye, everyone. Whoa, look at all those elephants. Hmm, I wonder, what do elephants use their trunks for? You're right, Debo. We should go ask one and find out. I'm gonna need a water hose and duck feet. Water hose, duck feet. Confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> the Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. <laughs> Yikes! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Me, Blippi, and that's Debo. Hey, we were wondering, what do elephants use their trunks for? Hi, Blippi and Debo. I'm Tempo. <laughs> Whoa! We elephants use our trunks to help cool down by sucking up water and spraying it on our body. Like this? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go down the slide again. Race you to the show! You're on! How 
can you breathe underwater? That's another great thing about my trunk. I can breathe through it. Wow, just like my nose. <coughs> exactly. Hey, speaking of noses, I smell bananas. Elephants have an excellent sense of smell. Come on, hop on my back. Oh, boy! Another slide! I wish we could go down that one, but the path is blocked! Check this out! Another great thing about trunks is that I can move just about anything! Last one down is a banana peel! Whoa! This is the best day ever! Whoa! Ready or not? also use their trunks to make sounds, like when we are excited. That's amazing! <laughs> Thank you, Tembo, for helping me find the answer to my question. What do elephants use their trunks for? Elephants use their trunks to smell, breathe, make sounds, suck up water, and even grab things. <laughs> Upload answer, Devo. Bye, Blippi. See you next time you're in the savannah. Bye-bye. <laughs> we had such a blast! <laughs> Driving at night is so much fun! And we have the streets all to ourselves. Whoa! What was that? It's pretty late for animals to be out. You're right, Debo. That's definitely an animal. Hmm, I wonder. Why do some animals come out at night? I'm gonna need a grabber arm. Grabber arm confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find that nighttime animal. Ah! Oh. Hi, my name is Rita the Raccoon. What's yours? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and that's Devo. We were wondering why some animals, like you, are out at night. See, I'm nocturnal. That means that everything you like to do in the daytime, I like to do at nighttime. So cool. Hey, do you think this thing can help me find some food? Of course. I think the Blippi Mobile could do almost anything. Oh, look at her go. Debo, follow that raccoon. Woo! Ha ha! Come on, keep up! Rita, you aren't supposed to use the Blippi Mobile without permission. That's stealing. Sorry! Us raccoons will do almost anything for food. <laughs> I'm freezing, Rita. It's so cold at night. Aren't you cold too? Me? No way! I've got this big fur coat that helps me keep nice and warm all night. <laughs> I wish I had a big coat or something to keep me warm. <laughs> Whoa! Look out! It's okay, Blippi! Look! Oh, thanks, Rita! That's another great thing about being nocturnal. A lot of the animals that want to chase me are asleep. I like it better with less unfriendly predators around. <laughs> Something smells good. Let's go! To the Blippi-mobile! This time, I'll drive! <laughs> That looks complicated, Rita. How are you going to open it? No problem. Raccoons are great problem solvers, as long as there's food involved. Ha! Jackpot! With less animals around, I don't have to share all of this great food. 
What an amazing adventure! And I got the answer to my question. Why do some animals come out at night? Some animals like to come out at night because there is less competition for food, there are fewer predators and people around, and because it's cooler at night. Upload answer, Debo. Goodbye, Blippi! I'm off to greener dumpsters! Bye-bye, Rita! Whoa! Ah, uh, more junk! Oh, oh, look! A shark's tooth! Whoa, Debo, there sure are a lot! Hmm, I wonder, how many teeth does a shark have? Great idea, Debo! We can go into the ocean and find out! I'm gonna need duck feet, a grabber arm, and a propeller! Duck feet, grabber arm, propeller, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Oh, hi there! I'm Dr. Paula the Pilot Fish. I'm a shark dentist. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> We're here to learn how many teeth a shark has. Well, you swam it to the right corner of the ocean. I'm about to visit my friend and patient, Larry. Hello, I think I have a loose tooth. We'll find out. We pilot fish help keep the shark's mouth clean in exchange for protection from fish who might chase us. Wow, what a great friendship. Whoop. Whoa! Someone call the Tooth Fairy! Let's take a look. Open wide, Larry. <laughs> ah, nothing to worry about. Come on in. The water's fine. As you can see, there's not just one row of teeth. There's row after row after row. <laughs> Go ahead and close now, buddy. Uh, maybe keep your mouth open just a little bit, Larry. Whoa! Another tooth on the loose! That's why Larry's got all these rows of teeth. They're waiting in line for when the front teeth fall out whoop, and need to be replaced. Happens all the time. That's kind of like us humans when we're kids. Let's count. One, two, three, 56, 57, 58. I sure wish sharks could floss. 213! Oh, that sure is a lot of teeth to take care of. You're right. There can be as many as 300 teeth in a shark's mouth at any given time. And get this, through his whole life, Larry here can grow and lose as many as 50,000 teeth. That's a huge number. <laughs> All done, Larry. Woohoo! Choo! <laughs> And I got the answer to my question. How many teeth does a shark have? Sharks have several rows of teeth, can have as many as 300 teeth at one time, and 50,000 over the course of their lives. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for teaching us all about teeth, Dr. Paula. Bye, Blippi. Don't forget the boss. <laughs> Oh no! Debo, look how the water is carrying the frisbee far away towards that island. Hmm, I wonder, why don't islands float away? You're right! Let's go ask the island and find out. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and duck feet. Helicopter blade, duck feet confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Oh, hello up there. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> nice to meet you both. I'm Ivan. 
Ivan, why don't you float away? Hmm, I think it has something to do with my bottom. Ooh, I know. Let's look underwater where my bottom is to find out. Oh, wait. I can't see down there. You're right, Debo. It would be great if you sucked up the water so we could see the bottom better. I can't wait to see what's down there. Okay, Debo. Drink up. <laughs> wow! These colorful coral reefs are so beautiful! We can see so much now! And Ivan, you're way bigger than I thought! Thanks! I'm even bigger! You're only at my belly button now, see? Oh! Debo, huh? can you drink up more water so we can see the bottom? <laughs> Are you okay, Debo? <laughs> Ivan, you have so many amazing things on you. Hey, wait, are we at the bottom now? No, you have reached my knees. Still a bit of a way to go. Do you think you've got one more big gulp left in you, Debo? We're so close to being able to see the bottom. Woohoo! I knew you did. You made it, Flippy! <laughs> You're at my feet! Really? How can you be sure? Because <laughs> it tickles when you walk around! <laughs> Ivan, you're attached to the bottom of the sea. You're like a mountain. <laughs> oh, Debo! Oh no! Well, that was fun. And now I have the answer to my question. Why don't islands float away? Islands don't float away because they are mountains attached to the seafloor. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for all your help, Ivan. You rock. Hope to see you again. Anytime. I'm here to stay. Bye bye, Blippi. Easy. Careful now. Whoa, I'm hungry. Ah, this cereal is soggy. Hmm, I wonder, why does cereal get soggy? Great idea, Debo. We'll shrink down and find out. I'm gonna need wings, duck feet, and the grabber arm. Wings, duck feet, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Mobile is ready for adventure. <laughs> You're right, Diva. It sure is hard. <laughs> Attention! Whoa! Huh? Who are you? I'm Scooper the Spoon. That's Sergeant Scooper the Spoon to you. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn why cereal gets soggy. Well, you came to the best of the best. These crunchy pieces of cereal are as hard as nails. The only problem is we got incoming milk in T-minus 30 seconds. What huh? happens then? The cereal gets all wet, Blippi. At first, it may seem like cereal is 100% solid, but if you look closely, it's actually porous. That means full of tiny little holes. Good idea, Debo. I'll go gather some intel, and you stay here on the lookout. Shrinking down again! It's like a cave made of cereal. All those holes you're flying through are open space for milk to fill and make the cereal soggy. Then it expands and falls huh? apart. Milk incoming! Whoa! The cereal is falling apart! 
time to get out of here. Growing up! No time to float around. We've got a cereal rescue mission to huh? complete. Now that the milk has infiltrated the cereal, we've got to scoop fast before the cereal gets soggy. We're on it. See, in the few minutes the cereal has been in milk, it has absorbed the liquid through the hole. A lot like how a sponge absorbs water. With your help, we got all the cereal out safely. Well done, troops. Thanks, Sergeant Scooper. And I got the answer to my question. Why does cereal get soggy? Cereal gets soggy when milk fills in the tiny holes of the cereal and causes it to expand and fall apart. Upload answer, Debo. Goodbye, Flippy. Bye-bye, Sergeant Scooper. Thanks for the scoop. Ready, Debo? <laughs> Three, two, one. Yeah, it's not quite what I envisioned. I wish I could make a few changes. <gasps> oh, yeah! I can use an eraser! Hmm, I wonder, how does an eraser work? <laughs> Great idea, Debo. We'll shrink down and get a closer look. I'm gonna need a grabber arm and helicopter blades. Grabber arm, helicopter blades, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Hmm, even up close, it sure does need some changes. Maybe I can help. Huh? Huh? I am the amazing Ernie! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn how an eraser works. Well, you came to the right eraser because I can make anything disappear. Even pencil markings. That's amazing! Come see, it's the best show in town! The tip of a pencil is made of graphite, and when you rub it on paper, it leaves a mark! Cool! Oh, huh. Let's take a closer look through a magnifying glass. Graphite gets left behind on the paper because it actually sticks to the paper! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, no! Huh? I got it! Phew! That was close! <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hey, Ernie, can you erase this graphite mark? Oh, what a great idea! I will make that mark disappear by erasing it. When an eraser like me rubs against the paper, it creates friction and heat. Awesome! The heat makes the eraser stickier than the paper, so the graphite comes loose from the paper and sticks to the eraser instead. Friction also causes the eraser to disintegrate or fall apart. See the small bits coming off? <laughs> You've got a few on you. Oh, they're cute. Wrap the eraser on the paper enough, and boy, oh boy, the graphite comes off. Ta-da! My disappearing act. Oh, that's amazing. Was it magic? No, it's science. Cool. And I got the answer to my question. How does an eraser work? Erasers work by using friction to make them stickier than paper. So the graphite on the paper clings to the eraser. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for the magic show, Ernie. Now it's time for us to disappear. Goodbye, Blippi. It was magic to meet you. Whoa, look at that. It's amazing how big dinosaurs were. You're right, Debo. There were bigger dinosaurs than the T-Rex. Hmm, 
I wonder, what was the biggest dinosaur? Good idea, Debo. We can go back in time and find the biggest dinosaur. I'm gonna need wings and extendo legs. Wings, extendo legs, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Going back in time! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Okay, where is the biggest dinosaur? Whoa! The rock is moving! Oh! We aren't sitting on a rock. We're on a very big dinosaur's back. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Hi, Blippi and Debo. I'm Angie. The Argentinosaurus. Whoa! That is a big name for a big dino. I have to break it up to say it right. Argentinosaurus. That's me. So I'm on my way to meet a friend. Oh, oh do you want to come along? Thanks for inviting us. Do you want to race? I bet you can run super fast. Actually, I walk slowly. That's part of being so big. Plus, I need to snack to keep up my energy. I eat hundreds of pounds of plants every day. You want to get a selfie of you and all of Angie? Good luck, Debo. Whoa, you're really long. I'm about 130 feet long and 40 feet tall. That's as long as three school buses. And a little taller than a telephone pole. Yum. Up the hill we go. I be your bridge. Whoa. It tickles. Yeah. This is where I meet my friend. Hey, good shot, Devo. We're both in it. Oh, and look, so is my friend. Sorry I'm late. Hey, this is my good friend, Nina. Nina, this is Bleepy and Debo. <laughs> They're looking for the biggest dinosaur. That's an easy one. You're the biggest dinosaur around, Angie. Oh, I guess I am. <laughs> so cool. And I have the answer to my question. What was the biggest dinosaur? One of the biggest dinosaurs was the Argentinosaurus. It was 130 feet long and ate plants and leaves all day. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, Angie and Nina. Bye, Blippi. Bye, Blippi. Whoa, look at that, Tabs. It's an adorable kitty cat. <laughs> and look at those super long whiskers. Hmm, I wonder, why do cats have whiskers? <laughs> Great idea, Tabs. Let's follow that kitty cat and find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Do you see any kitties yet, Tabs? Whoa, what was that? Hey, it's me, Flippy. What's your name? Hippley's the name, and treats are my game. Say, you aren't holding out on me, are you? <laughs> holding out on what? Shh. Treats. I can smell them like hot cakes in the morning. They're close. Hurry, follow me. Wait for me. Yeehaw! Woo! Flawless. How do you 
land so perfectly. My whiskers have special sensors that help keep me oriented, so I always land on my feet. Like this. Ha -ha. Do you think you can fit? My whiskers help me determine if I can fit through the passage without getting stuck. See? I told you. <clears throat> Come on, Blippi. It's so dark. How can you see anything? When I can't see what's around me, my whiskers tell me when something's there. Ah, oh, rats. No treats in here. But we must be close. Come on, y'all. What else can your whiskers do? Even the slightest breeze can tell me information about my environment and what direction a smell is coming from. My whiskers are telling me that the treats are... Woo! There! Woo! Snackpot! <laughs> Would you look at that? Woo-hoo-hoo! I'm happier than a pig in mud! What a great adventure, Kipley! We found the treats! And I got the answer to my question. Why do cats have whiskers? Cats' whiskers help them navigate their environment and help them keep oriented so they always land on their feet. Upload answer tabs. Bye bye Kipley! Thanks, Blippi. It was great to have you as a sidekick on this adventure. Bye, y'all! I don't think your guitar is working right, Debo. Hmm, I wonder, how does a guitar work? You're right, Debo. Let's go find out. <laughs> I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinky down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Rock and roll! That sounded great! I love it! Thank you! <laughs> hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. I'm picky! We were wondering how a guitar works. Can you show us? I can, but I can't work the guitar by myself. I'll need your help to play it right. Okay. When I pick a string, it goes back and forth really fast, which makes a note. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> You're right, Debo. My string is much thicker than yours. I bet it's harder to balance for you. The faster the string goes back and forth, the higher the note. <laughs> How do you make other notes on a guitar? That's why I needed your help. Hey, Debo, could you move towards the far end of the neck, mate? <gasps> now back towards me. <laughs> Solo! <laughs> well, that explains how different notes are made. Why does the guitar have such a big body? That's the part that makes it loud! Thank you! Hey, come stand over here on the soundboard! We're going up and down, too! When I pluck the string, the whole guitar body vibrates, and the sound hole there makes it super loud! Like, a, oh, like shouting while cupping your hands over your mouth! <laughs> Hello! Wow! That was loud! Right! Practice is over. Time to jam! One, two, three, four! Thank, Thank you! <laughs> and now I have the answer to my question. How does a guitar work? 
Guitars work because the strings vibrate and make sound, which is made louder by causing the whole hollow guitar body to vibrate. Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, <laughs> Picky. Bye, Flippy. Bye, Debo. Remember to always keep 